Ah, good day everyone and uh, welcome to today's vlog. Um, oh my gosh, it's been so long. Are you guys still in there? Are you guys there? I think I should probably start off by saying I am so, so sorry for leaving you guys hanging these past couple months. I feel like there's a lot to update you guys on and that's kind of what this video is, is a bit of a life update slash apology slash explanation on things. And also where I'm at right now, what I'm doing, why hasn't there been content on this channel for so long? There's a lot to explain. So we're going to get into it. And I'm also in London right now. And I feel like we should maybe start off with a flat tour so you guys can see what my place looks like here. But before we do get into that, I do want to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Heyday. Heyday is a cozy farm simulation game that's captivated millions of players over the past 12 years. It's also been my go-to game for when I'm on the train or if I'm trying to unwind right before bed because it's such like a peaceful game and it's also been so nice to have some virtual pets to take care of especially because I'm traveling right now and I don't have my pets with me so it's been very nice to have them. Also, Heyday is hosting an exciting Easter event from March 18th to April 6th featuring a chocolate bunny hunt. Every chocolate bunny collected in-game will help support their mission because Heyday is so generously donating $50,000 to Fauna and Flora, which is a group dedicated to sustainable farming initiatives and climate change resilience. To join the event, simply reach level 17 to unlock access to the boat and receive your free building egg maker on March 18th. Produce these eggs to sell to the boat in exchange for chocolate bunnies. Plus, if you download today, you'll receive 15,000 coins and an Easter planter for free. So if you guys are interested, make sure to click the first link to download Heyday and use the second link to claim your 15,000 coins and free Easter planter. All right, now let's get on with the flat tour. Shall we? We shall. Okay, so starting off in the hallway, I just have to warn you guys, this is probably the craziest lighting ever. They're like, oh my gosh. Um, Yeah, it's LED lighting. So we are gonna turn the hall lights off because that is a sin. I don't know what they were thinking, putting those, I don't even know, is it incandescent or is it, it's the, it's the ugly one, whatever one it is. But anyway, starting off, we have bedroom number one. This is just a cute little guest bedroom. I do have someone coming to stay with me for a couple days. So they'll probably get this room. It's just nice, cute and cozy. There is some built-in closets in all of the rooms. And there, these two are connected, so we'll be neighbors. This is the bedroom I've been sleeping in. I think it might be the master bedroom. Although you'll see the other room and you'll see why there is a little bit of confusion. But yeah, it's a nice, sweet room with a, a bathroom attached to it. Hello, again, the lighting is kind of crazy in here, uh, but this one also has a shower and the shower is so interesting because it's a button you press. It's like a power button and that's like it. It's very odd. And then I have this cute view outside my window every morning. Hi everybody, hi London. And then back into the hall is this bedroom. Now this, when I first got here, I was like, oh, this is the room I'm staying in. This bed is so cool. But the mattress, I fully thought I was just sleeping on a baseboard. I was like, this is the hardest mattress I have ever slept on. So in the middle of the night, I was like, I don't know, we're going in that room because that mattress was squishy and I could actually sleep. But I do really like this bed frame. I think it's so cute, even though my feet were like hitting it. Uh, it also has a very nice view. Look at these cute little houses. It's like colored so pretty. Look at this. Oh my God, it literally makes me so peaceful. Like I just look out here and I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel so good. And this is where I'm storing all of my clothes as well. And then you head out here and this is the bathroom that I've been using more than that one. Uh, this one has a bath I still haven't used it yet, but cute, ha. And then also similar shower with the weird power button thing. And the same pretty view. But then you come up here and this is mostly where I've been spending my time up here in the loft kitchen. So yeah, it's like, I personally love attic spaces or like things that feel like attic. So I don't mind that the roof is very slanted and 
kind of, I don't know, it just gives like a cozier vibe. But very nice, comfy couch. And then over here, I have my gaming setup where I've been playing Minecraft again. So if you want to go check out my gaming channel, I've been posting some Minecraft vids over there. And yeah, this has just kind of been my cozy, chill space. I just rewatched all of Avatar The Last Airbender and now I'm back on to Korra because I never finished Korra, but... Yeah, pretty views all around. I love it up here. Okay, now that we got the house tour out of the way or the flat tour, I feel like it's time to update you guys on what my life has been. I feel like, oh, Joey, like, why are you here? Where are you? Like, why are you not at your house? I'm sure there's just a lot of confusion. And I really haven't talked about any of this anywhere. So this is all very, also cute. I have lovely toothpaste stains. Actually, there's a trick I've heard if you rub fabric against, okay, that's not working. Okay, it kind of worked a little bit. No, it's still there. Anyways, um, I just want to come on here because it's obviously been a long time since I posted a video on this channel. Okay, so here's the thing. I rented my house out back in November and I, it's like a, a six to nine month rental, basically. They'll get to decide if it's gonna be nine months. So I don't know when I'm going to be going back home. It could either be in May or it could be August. I'll find out soon. So anyways, I did that because I, my mental health was really declining. I was feeling very depressed. And obviously the house that I live in is way too big for one person that was very much a family house and then after the breakup it's just me living in this house with my animals and the housing market is just really not good right now for anyone whether it be a seller or a buyer so i'm kind of just like i love my house i i really do like i wish i could just get a new boyfriend or husband to make it not feel so like too big for one person and like not be so expensive and share the cost. But um, right now in the meantime, I'm kind of stuck to do anything. So I made the decision to rent it out so I could kind of go figure out my life. And that's what I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of traveling. I've been in London quite a bit and I absolutely love it here so much. So I've been considering making the move here, but I just don't resonate so much with LA culture or American culture that much. <laughs> I think because it just feels like a very isolating, like, society. Just because everybody's, like, just either in their cars or at their house or at work. There's not very many third places that exist. At least in my experience, it's very difficult to find those in LA. You can, like, go to a cafe or whatever, but it's still not the same vibe. I think public transport is so important to feel grounded in society. And that is like a huge thing in London that I absolutely love. I'm like, yes, let's take the tube. Like you can get anywhere in the city in like a half an hour and just put on your headphones. Like just, I don't know, feel like you're amongst people. And I don't get that in LA. And then even just like walking down the street, like there's, everything's walkable here. You can walk to the grocery store Five minutes down the road, you can go to a cafe, you can go to restaurants. It's just so nice to be able to walk and see other people also doing that. So I really just enjoyed the culture here in London so much. And it's just beautiful. Everywhere you look, it's just like stunning. Like I'm looking out my window right now and I'm just like taking in everything. And that just doesn't really exist in LA. It's kind of not the prettiest. So anyways, my mental health when I'm here is so much better, but on the flip side of that, I miss making content on this channel that's animal focused. Like I truly miss so badly fostering. Like I can't wait to get back into my house to go back into the fostering cycle because I miss having puppies or kittens around me constantly. I miss my animals. Like traveling is so difficult because I get so homesick because I'm not with them. And if you're wondering, I have my friends watching the dogs and Sakura when I'm gone. My friend Carter's watching Sakura, my friend Dan's watching Moon, and Daniel is watching Hunter and Wolf. So they're all being taken care of, don't worry. But yeah, I do miss them. And I'm just in London for the next couple weeks and I'll be back in LA. But it's been hard not having like a home base. Like bouncing around, it sounds fun, but it's 
really difficult for <laughs> Taurus who likes to have his roots and his routine be constantly moving around and it's exhausting, but I am very lucky that I'm in a position where I can work from anywhere. So I'm not taking it for granted how fortunate I am to have this opportunity to have the flexibility to explore and experience um, living in different areas. But I think I need to figure out where I belong and where I want to live. And I'm still figuring that out. So I don't really know. But anyways, uh, I want to show you guys a bit of what my life has been like in London or just like what it's like in London and I'm gonna take you guys on a little adventure. Let's go. It is such a beautiful day out in London today. Uh, I've actually headed to central London because there's this perfume that I smelled last time I was here. Oh my God, what is this tree? What are you beauty? What is this? Why are you so white and pretty? I don't smell anything. But anyways, there was this perfume at the store called Liberty, which is this beautiful old department store. And I asked this guy what cologne he was wearing. And he was like, oh, I don't remember. Or I, he said something of like, I don't know the name. It, but that was the actual name of it. It's like, I don't remember or I don't know. So I'm going back to try and find it. We'll also run a couple other errands. I also want to grab a latte, but yeah. Let's go. Also, this is the fit of the day. A little bit of a 70s theme going on. I don't like it. Okay, so I ended up finding a fragrance. It's called, I don't know what. I could only get the roller. They didn't have the full size. But even this was like $90, but I really like the smell of it. So I think it'll last me a while because I don't really use that much anyway. So I'm going to go grab a latte and probably some lunch as well. Well, it's much later and I'm back at my flat. I'm watching Legend of Korra and honestly, I get why I never finished it. It's like not good. Like compared to Last Airbender, this is just, it's so difficult. I don't like Korra. I think she's so whiny and annoying and kind of useless. Uh, does she get better? It doesn't seem like it. I'm on the last season. I'm like, I can barely get through these damn episodes. Like, and I think maybe because Aang and that crew was like so fresh in my mind. I'm like, nothing can compare. So I'm just struggling, honestly. But anyways, today was fun. And now it's time for bed. It's almost midnight. So I should probably stop watching anime and sleep. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and I'm glad to be back. And again, a huge thank you to Heyday for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna check it out, the links will be down below. But yeah, that's it for today. Until next time, I'll see y'all next time. Good damn, bye.